Hey everyone, I just wanted to reply to a comment by Adam Lord to uh, a video that I made recently about <coughs> the race debate. And um, check out Adam Lord's channel, he does some great art, a uh, cool channel. Uh, and um, so this is all in the spirit of friendly discussion. Uh, I don't think Adam Lord is a racist. Um, but he brought up an interesting point which I wanted to talk about. Uh, and his comment goes as follows. I always find it troubling and perplexing when people say that the extinction of an entire race is insignificant or desirable. It seems completely backward to me that wanting to discuss race, preserve and distinguish race is considered bad and racist, while denying and ignoring race and wanting to eliminate race is considered good and not racist. Not that I'm calling you racist, I just think the whole issue is strangely polarized and convoluted. Now what I want to say to that what I think people do when they talk about race is they look at certain features like skin color like hair you know pigmentation as I expressed in my last video I don't care about pigmentation myself and they take that as somehow significant and worth maintaining I don't think so what underlies pigmentation and all of these other external features are the genes. Now, whether the genes are worth maintaining or not uh, throughout our past has been decided by evolution, right? So when we have a lot of genetic diversity, those genes that are successful, that uh, create traits in people, uh, phenotypes that are good and adaptive, those genes survive. Now, that's, you know, that's how I think we should run things. Um, I don't think we need to, in some weird way, uh, fence off certain uh, genotypes, certain, you know, certain races behind some kind of artificial fence, just so we can maintain some arbitrary features like skin color uh, or, or whatever other external feature you want to pick. Um, I, I don't think that makes any sense at all. Now, as far as genetic material goes, if we have lots of interracial relationships, the white skin color, for example, as a feature that provides no real uh, adaptive advantage anymore these days, um, especially in the new global context, will disappear. Not because it's eliminated, but because when obviously there's this interracial relationships um, there will be this mix and the mix will be somewhere in the middle of the pigmentation spectrum so it'll be whatever a kind of a olive color or whatever it turns out to be now I don't have any problem with that I would have a problem if someone came along and said let's eliminate this particular uh, bunch of people and get their genetic material out of the gene pool will shoot them all in the head or will sterilize them that would be terrible but if through uh, through interracial marriages the uh, Caucasian race this subpopulation which developed in a, a kind of isolation as all of the races did uh, disappears I don't have any problem with that at all I don't think it's significant and I think it's good that the genetic diversity of the species will increase and as far as the superiority or not of uh, various genes that are often found in uh, Caucasians goes well <laughs> in that context we'll see uh, if these genes are in s indeed so successful um, they will be successful in that context and we they will continue to propagate themselves um, like is always true in evolution but no I don't see why we should uh, maintain these arbitrary um, racial boundaries which uh, were created by the human evolutionary history I mean all people used to be black from Africa should we have maintained that should we have like uh, gotten upset when people started becoming white should we should we segregate more so we can create more races uh, or, or is there something specific and holy about the races we have today 
Um, I think that all of these alternatives are silly and to s mostly nonsensical. No, genetic diversity is good, um, which is why we should just, you know, whoever you like, you meet someone, they're black, they're blue, they're green, uh, it all works out, just go with it and then your baby is black, blue, green, rainbow colored, fine. Uh, don't worry about the genes. The thing is when I have a child, which hopefully will happen one day, um, it will have half of its genetic material will be mine, no matter what the race is of the partner I choose. But if the race is different from my own, then the child will not be Caucasian. It will still have the same amount of my genetic material. Um, so I don't see a problem there at all. Um, so as far as this whole idea of, uh, of um, preserving a race goes, a race is just something that happened as an accident of, of, of how evolution worked and how we were separated at one point during our evolutionary history. We now have modern transportation that will no longer be the case. So that separation will not be upheld and I personally will not miss it. Um, personally, uh, I think that humans are kind of interested in their own genes. I mean, that's what evolution's all about. So I would certainly like to see a little a little me or at least someone that has a little part of me go on I don't think it's essential to the world but that's I guess my <laughs> my personal bias I would like that and I would like that I would like myself after I go my genes to be part of the gene pool and to continue in that sense but that's all I ask for I don't ask for my eye color or my skin color to be part of that mix anymore at all and um, I think it's entirely unreasonable to expect that um, especially since that's the process of evolution there was when we started we did not have these races so why should we have the same races in X amount of time we wouldn't we won't um, so I say let nature take its course um, pick your partner by how much you care for them and about them and how compatible they are with you no matter what their race don't pick them specifically because they're a different race either don't worry about any of that stuff it'll all work itself out and will be nice and mixed and the best genes will be successful that is until we uh, start helping out and get ri rid of evolution altogether because really it's kind of going to be outdated once we hit the right level of technology but until then there's no problem. And no, I'm not afraid of the day where there are very few blonde, blue-eyed people. I honestly don't care. Um, especially, I mean, I think really worrying about the ex exact mix of the human genetic material is a bit silly as well. But as long as no one is removing the genetic material that is uh, part of my genetic heritage, I, I really don't see any reason to have a problem with that. So that's just my view on that, uh, on that point.